Okay, due to uh, Thanksgiving, uh, I haven't had much time to do much with my orchids except just fill my humidifiers, like that one over there. And I don't know if it's already starting to break down because this humidifier had some kind of leak. And I came in one day and basically had water all over the floor and uh, none of the orchids had basically been uh, misted at all. But anyways, today, uh, it's Sunday, I'm going to try to uh, water my orchids, give them their weekly watering, and I will share some of the blooming plants while I do that. I'm still trying out this plant potion number nine. Um, I think what it is is just a bunch of chelated metals, uh, and we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to fill my large Homer bucket today, and I'll put a little bit in this, and then I'll use it to water all my orchids in semi-hydro. goal today is to water all the cattleyas that I have that are in semi-hydro that are sitting on my racks and then I can go through and find the ones like this one right here that has buds and then pull them out. So that is um, Yen Corona Green Genie if you're wondering and you can also see that I have um, this is Little Mermaid Janet that's in bloom. But yes, today's goal is to basically um, water all the semi-hydro um, orchids that are down below. So I have Pond Pump, which is on, and you can hear it now. And that was in the orange homer bucket that I added the plant potion number nine to it. And then basically, um, uh, I just connect the pump to this wand that I have connected, uh, attached basically through um, Tygon tubing, and then I can just water, like so. And um, this lets me take it right to the containers. Um, it's, however, really slow to water this way. Um, I don't, usually takes me several hours, and so uh, I often use uh, a bottle filled with water to like this, a bottle like this, just filled with water um, for pots and stuff that I can easily reach just to make it a little bit faster. And I can get all the plants, even the ones that don't look like they're doing so hot, this way. And I'm often joined, I don't know if we can see him, Pinto. Are you coming through, man? Here's Pinto. He's getting in the way, getting all wet. <laughs> so, let's see. That's me watering. So I'm trying to water, but he's coming by and banging against my watering hand and the wand. You don't want this. This is like stinky chelated metal water, Pinto. This down here is all my sort of extra orchids. Right down here. It's hard to hold the camera in water. Pinto is still participating. I can go through one by one. And what I usually do is I, uh, I count to like 10 or something, make sure everything gets watered. And I usually come by a couple times on each one um, so I can kind of get them to absorb as much water as possible. Pinto, this doesn't need you. 
So while watering, I also found um, this Layla Catlea Mary song. Um, it actually had another bud on it right here that fell off. Um, while I was pulling it off the rack, but I think it's also going to lose this bud right here, which is yellow. And I'm not quite sure why the buds are blasting on it. It was um, close to the window, so maybe it was cold, but um, also uh, you can see it's all wet because I took it downstairs and washed it, and I did find um, some scale on it. So maybe the sucking insect was um, damaging the flower formation. So hopefully we'll be able to, I'll be able to see that um, in bloom soon. So in pulling out the um, Brassiolella Kellia uh, Yen Corona Green Genie, you can see that it also has a little bit of scale on the buds here. So see right there and uh, right there and there, a very faint, very young scale. So scales here as well and here. And so I'm going to also take this downstairs and uh, give it a wash. Oh, Pinto. Ah, ah. You bang the rod, man. I don't need to lose any more buds. Pinto, don't eat the buds. All right, let's see. Looks like we got, this is after I washed, and so I'm thinking I got all the scale. We'll hope that we did. Um, I actually gently sprayed it with bleach, and then um, just basically immediately, oh no, here's a bit of scale right there. Didn't get it all off, just hoping to surface kill the bleach. Um, Cause it was young and not very, um, Tightness yet, but it looks like some of it's still on. Maybe I can scrape it off. Ah, I'm being attacked by a pinto. Pinto. I'm gonna say, let me see if I can scrape it off with my finger. But I can't get close enough. There's a pinto in the way. Oh. All right, can you get out of the way, tail? <sighs> ah, don't hit the flowers. All right, so here, let's see if I can use my fingernail and there we go. So there's a bit of scale and there it is. And I picked it off. There's one. I'm actually using my phone to make it look bigger because um, I can't actually see the scale with my naked eye very well because uh, my near vision is too blurry with my contacts in. One more. Ow, Pinto! Oh, he just bit my foot. Pinto, do you, you need to be here, really? Right here is my Lilia Anceps that I got from Grace, who's a member of the Illinois Orchid Society. Has two flowers this year. Um, I should really, I've staked it a little bit, but it's really hard um, to get these flowers up. And it keeps trying to put itself into the thorns of my variegated lemon tree. This little Dendrochylum formosum um, I got from High Desert Orchids. It came with, I think, 11 spikes, and I think six of them basically just died. These are the only ones that are still alive. Um, it lost a lot of leaves. It def definitely got slightly frozen during transit. So most of the spikes did, like what this one right here did. See, it's just brown and died. All right, that up there is my Potinara Shara Winkleman, which I got from Hauserman's. It's in semi-hydro, and I don't have a, uh, so it's 
got a lot of flowers here and here, and then it's also got some on the other side facing the window. But, oh darn it, I'm leaking. All right, let's see if I can just zoom in to the flowers. It's hard, the angle is not very good down here. All right, in this giant mess of hybrid nobly type dendrobiums, you can see that I have buds forming. I don't give these a winter dry west, and I am currently watering them, as you can see. And they're basically just sitting in a plastic bin. And I continue to treat them like I do in the summers. I water them at the same time that I water my cattleyas right now. Then in the front of my room, I've got a second rack of cattleyas down here at the bottom um, in semi-hydro. And they all also need to be watered. So it took so long to water that it got too dark in my grow area to shoot any video and I had to wait for my lights to come on um, and I have them basically on a timer so they come on every day at four and it's getting dark pretty early now because um, we're heading into December and of course the shortest day of the year. Uh, here in Chicago on the shortest day of the year we have basically about oh, uh, about nine hours of light so it's not a surprise getting dark early. And then this right here is um, the only nobly type dendrobium that I have that is um, already blooming. This is Dendrobium Holy Night. Um, it's the Clone U Meiji. I don't, I have not seen it around very much. I got it um, from B&H Orchids a few years ago and it is super, super tall. So that back there is one of the canes on it. Um, and it is it's like, here's a new cane, see how tall it is? Here, let me see if I can push it up and see how tall it is. Oh, see, it's gigantically tall. Anyways, so that's blooming here um, on the top of my rack. And then if we come down, um, I've got, um, I've, I've shown this uh, Shari Baby before, it's that's a Red Fantasy. And then I have two Cataleas coming into bloom here. So this is my Hina Yahiro, it's not open yet. And then this back here is um, Mini Purple by, I think, Far Horizon. Um, it is a Richard Raymond, I'm sorry, Raymond Burr um, cross, uh, which has actually now been registered by uh, Fred Clark. And the color's nice on it, but what I don't like about the flowers on this is that you can see that they don't come out of the sheath very much and they have a tendency to just basically bunch up. So the presentation is really poor on these flowers right here. They just, I don't know, they just don't look very nice. Um, if I catch them early enough and I can cut the sheath open, then they open better, but often they just open in this little clump and this is actually opened in a clump like facing the wall and I had to turn it around. So this is, um, I've had this orchid probably 15, 20 years. I've, I've had the cross longer than it's been registered uh, with the Royal um, Horticultural Society. But, uh, and I don't actually remember what the uh, registered name is. But let me see if I can pull the tag on it. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not mini purple. It's Leo Catlea Mariner Far Horizon by um, Leila Mini Purple. So that's the cross. And um, at one point, I think they had, uh, Raymond Bird wanted to register it as Marine Blue Boy, but it's not, it's some other uh, cross. And it's, I've had this cross a long, long time. So um, the reciprocal of this cross, which is um, Leila Catlea Mariner cross to mini purple, is actually now known as Heidi Kirkpatrick. So before I call it,
quits for today. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some Marathon on these guys right here. Um, this is Encyclia Garciana and um, it's had scale on and off. You can see the like residue pockmarks right there from the scale on it and I'm not getting all of it. I have um, sprayed it a couple times with bleach. And in fact, I just sprayed it right now and tried to clean the scale off, but um, I'm not getting all of it. So I'm going to try some Marathon, which I have right here. And um, you just basically just go in there with the scoop. And then I just give it a little bit. And I'm going to give some over here. It's in the bark. It'd be nice to sprinkle it on, but it's a little bit difficult to do that. Um, I had mealybugs in this one, so it's going to get some. And then don't know if it's spread to here because those plants came out from inside here. So I'm just going to give all of these guys a little sprinkle. Um, my plant water dribbled when I was carrying it back from the sink, Dan. Are you going to clean it up? I'm sure. I'll clean it up. Mistress. There we go. So downstairs, I do have um, two um, sort of twinkle-like um, oncidiums. Um, this is Oncidium um, ornithorhynchum, this purple one right here. It's one of the parents of twinkle. And then this right here is Suke Marguerite. And since we're home, I have been bringing down blooming plants and trying to put them on my the top of my windowsill. So not the bottom right here, because the cats walk there, as you can tell, and they've taken all the paint off, but on the tops of my sills. And I need to figure out some way to put a shelf here. Um, you can't use a commercially bought shelf because of the window lock, right? It's too high, and so stuff can't sit flat. Um, but um, it's nice to be able to have some flowers on the windowsill right here.